Well, how y'all doing, man? I'm back up in this thing with another video for y'all. Peace and love to you for rocking with me. And if you are new to the channel and you just now subscribe, peace and love to you as well. But for this one, I ain't gonna waste no time. I'm gonna get into it like we always do. Who you seeing right now? This is Dennis Rodman. <clears throat> now, this is back at the time, like, at the time where he joined the Bulls. And we noticed that there was a transitional uh, type of effect that happened with Dennis Rodman. You know, from the bad boy... Bad Boy Pistons to the Bulls. You know what I'm saying? On the Baphomet type of shit. Like the dark, you know, like satanic shit. So this is him around that time. You know what I'm saying? As you see, this look like, this look extra, extra wild, right? But hold, hold on real quick. Wild shit too, right? Those are people in the background laughing. Now, this is before we opened our eyes to certain stuff. A lot of our parents probably know, like, oh, yeah, like, Dennis Rodman, oh, yeah, that motherfucker was weird, type shit like that, you know? Fast forward to modern day type stuff. We got people like James Harden out here with a man purse. Nigga, that's a purse. I know some people's like, oh, that's an expensive bag. I'm like, so what, nigga, get a backpack. You know what I'm saying? Now, we got people like this. Kid cut it. Now that when I first initially seen this, this kind of had me like, it had me just really like, man, I had me like disappointed as hell. I was like, ah, I'm like, cause you know, Kid Cudi, Man on the Moon album. That was an album, it's legendary. Cause it, like, you know what I'm saying? I can't even explain it. That album is just so incredible. Like, you know, Kid Cudi is an incredible artist. And I, I really be asking myself this question a lot of time, even with these series, like, why do these people sell out to this level? But is it to get their name out there, to keep their name relevant and to keep their longevity going down the line? I feel like Kid Cudi was an individual that did not need to do this. So for him to do this, it's just like it just shows you that he wanted to do it or there's some agendas that we was not aware of. So, you know, you got Kid Cudi right there. Got Kid Cudi right here as well. <clears throat> and we're going to correlate it all together. We There's a lot of these people that came off with the messages or portrayed that image of the masculinity. And then you see how they demasculate the man. You see how they do things to have you make it seem like this is the norm. This is like, this is cool. When in actuality, it is not cool at all. You know, I'm just pointing some things out here. Like, now it's one thing if you want to rock this and be yourself doing it. That's cool, you know, to each his own. But if you're rocking this on some agenda to force other people to do it, then that's not cool at all, bro. You know what I mean? We got people like like your boy right here that's pushing that to the all-time high. You feel me? And all they like to say is like, oh, he got a kilt on and things like that. The whole thing behind it is a man should not be rocking that. They even Kid Cudi. Like, Kid Cudi then took it a little further, bro. You know what I'm saying? We got other people in here like Vin Diesel. I told you with the masculine type. Now, Vin Diesel, he's been in the Fast and Furious for years. Why is this guy in that? We got Kanye with the, uh, you know, niggas in Paris and shit like that. When he was with the Jay-Z's and all of that on stage. You got your boy again. Um, You got Snoop Dogg in that shit as well. You see? So this is all agendas for hip-hop. You see how he tried to put the chucks on and whatnot. You know what I mean? Al Roker, a.k.a. the program bot type of guy. This guy is programmed easily. You know what I'm saying? We've seen it a lot of times where he just was glitching out on TV. So this is a bigger agenda. We have Eminem on here as well, bro. This is deep. Now you remember, like, go back in the 90s. Eminem, he was making all the homophobic raps and, you know what I'm saying, going at people like that because he was different. Like, his delivery, all that, he was just nasty. Eminem. I don't know. Eminem would never have gotten this. But, you know, like, to the agenda's person, that's something like, bro, once they see a certain person in it, it stamps it. Like Kanye West, he's a pillar in the game. So I feel like people like Kid Cudi, they seem like, oh, Kanye got this on? Let me put this on. Because Pusha T did it as well. You know what I'm saying? Even on this, bro, like, that's on another thing. Look at this. How they try to demasculate you. Terry Crews. Now, what, did, what was the news that we heard about him years ago? That he was sexually assaulted by a man or whatever, right? And then, you know, like, they how they made the story, how he was just like, 
Well, I felt uncomfortable. Well, if you felt uncomfortable, what about wearing this attire right here, bro? You see what these people will do for the money? Why are they doing all that? They got him and Will Smith. Like, you know, they pillars in the game, but these individuals, they follow behind other people and they just keep that agenda going, bro. This is just weird. Come on, bro. Like, I don't know how a man can feel comfortable throwing this on and then you got a wife or stuff like that. How your wife supposed to feel? Knowing that you threw this shit on like this, bro. I don't, I, don't just tell me, oh, I made 500000 know, so I made such, 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 such. Come on, bro. That's that's just like how Vine used to have people doing the little skits with niggas wearing makeup and lipstick and stuff. I'm like, bro, come on, bro. Y'all must not be funny regularly. Look at Young Thug. You know what I'm saying? Like, they took it to another level with this. Now, Young Thug is another individual that's very talented. We ain't going to deny the fact that Young Thug is very talented, but what is this, though? You see, and then Young Thug is another individual that we use an example and say that he knocked down the doors for a lot of these people in the game to be doing like the little Uzis. Little Uzis, little left field with it. Little Nas X is in his own lane, as you can see, because he took it to another level. He's seen other people do it. So he had the Old Town Road, where he kind of had that success. And he was like, oh, I'm about to die out. My buzz is dying. Let me come back out. And he came back out with all the extra, extra, extra. You know what I'm saying? On this, kissing people in the mouth, all that type of stuff. Kid Cuddy was doing it even back then. Look, this is an older picture. So let you know, like, he was getting more comfortable with that to the point where they either went left with it, you know what I mean? But this is back at like probably 09, 2010. This is the old Cuddy, you know what I'm saying? To this right here. To Russell Westbrook. Let's put him in there too. We're gonna leave it off on him. This is the shit that had me like, ah, not Russell Westbrook, bro. This is a dude that's in the NBA, one of the realest in the NBA. He'll speak his mind and all that type of stuff, you know? But then you'll see stuff like that. Like, what is that about? That's why I started off with Dennis Rodman. This nigga looking like Dennis Rodman. Right now, you know, he get rebound, he get triple doubles, he get all that. But it goes to show you, bro. You doing all that. Now, why you got this on? Why does James Harden got that purse? Why does he have that? Now, this is more of a bigger bag, but it's still like that purse type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you rocking that? The long ass shirt. You know what I'm saying? It is right here. And even with this, like, you see how they made that trade, Kuzma and uh, Westbrook, right? But even with Kuzma, look, look you know what I'm saying? You see that all seeing eye right there, tatted. Westbrook, Westbrook is going to be number zero as well. So they trade places. And even with him, I thought like he was MK Ultra a lot of times with uh, the Lakers or whatever. Or just going through things to, like, kind of get the attention. Because, you know, you you got the spotlight on you. You in L.A. And that's another thing. The people be in L.A. So they, either you fit that system or you don't fit that system. I think he was even dating, like, Kardashians and shit like that. You see, these people go extra, extra to keep their name relevant, bro. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to ever let that level of fame fizzle out. The Westbrook, like, initially I was going to um, <clears throat> respond to this. Oh, not respond to this. Make a video. Because I noticed in the press conference he died his hair. Now we see him with, like, blue hair, all type of stuff. Now he's going to have number zero as well or number four. You know what I'm saying? But we see all of that. This is him doing the oath because he posted this on his Instagram. So we're going to end this right here. What do y'all think about this picture right here, man? Can we still say that Russell Westbrook is a masculine individual? Or can we say, oh, he's tapping into his feminine energy and masculine energy? Or can we just be 100 and be like, this nigga's promoting agendas, bro? Because, like, damn, bro, it's like kids look up to this. But I'm going to leave it right here, man. I'm going to leave it right here. Because we had individuals like that back in the day. To nowadays, we got people like this. You see, you see like the funny stuff, you know what I'm saying? And then they get to, then they get to there. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. I'm going to come back at y'all with some other stuff that I find. I thought this was very disturbing.